Hello, Kylie. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm not fine because it's very hot. Is it? All right. <laughs> I, know, I know the feeling, but it's on this side very cold. <laughs> Every day, uh, about 40 degrees Celsius and very humid. Every day, around 800 people are brought to the hospital by heat stroke. <laughs> that's that, that's pretty bad. Yeah, and yesterday I woke up, I had a pain on my eye, left eye, so I looked at my mirror. My yeah. left eye is a bloody eye, red red eye. Yes. Yeah, and uh, today is... as well, a little bit, uh, but still red. Mm -hmm. That's quite strange, is it? Uh, you didn't maybe put in eye drops or do something strange, something different from normal. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, sometimes it happened when I was tired. Yeah. So it's it, it could just be a little bit of tiredness. Yeah, a little tired. Oh. Yeah, but that's not fun, eh? But uh, so apart from the red eye and the and all the heat, how was the rest of your weekend? Weekend, I uh, yesterday I made my blouse. Yeah. I made my brows and yeah. I took a picture. I posted on the Facebook. Several, several of my friends uh, could, could like. <laughs> then today, I yeah. was wearing wearing that blouse. It's very cool. Wow, that's fantastic! Because material is very thin, so very good. All right. So, so uh, you are quite an avid seamstress. Am I correct? You, seamstress. You like, yeah, seamstress is a uh, someone who, who makes clothes. Mm. Yeah, I like to make uh, sewing. Yeah, or, or see, yeah, in other words, you you enjoy sewing. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Cool. That is wonderful. Okay. So, so do you do you often make clothes for yourself? Yeah, I I sew my clothes a lot of lot of times and uh, sometimes yeah. I saw brows to my husband, brows or pants. Yeah. Wow. That is that is wonderful. So you are very handy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that thrifty. is very, very cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well I'm not too far behind you then. Thrifty. <laughs> <laughs> <Lifty. laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, that is cool. Yeah, my my wife is also a uh, um very very good at, at making things. She's uh, she's pregnant at the moment, and she uh, she's been making her own um, maternity wear. Mm. So I ha I have a lot of appreciation because I know how much work goes into it. Maybe I can find a very good cloth in Af South Africa. Maybe it's much different from here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, I think you you'll find some interesting clothes here, but. Um, I think most of, well, um, maybe it's not fair to say most. At least half of the clothes that you you can find in South Africa um, mm -hmm. comes from overseas. Maybe there are many hand handcraft textiles, right, in Africa. Yeah, I don't know. In 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 South Africa, and uh, well, especially where I live, um, we live in Bloemfontein, in the centre of South Africa. And probably about 50 or 60 kilometers from here, um, there's a, a place called Bochabello. And mm. they um, they have textile factories there, and uh, they actually have clothes factories there as well. So, yeah, there's, you'll probably be able to find something quite unique. Mm, I see. Yeah. Oh, cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so what time is it at, um, at the moment, Cody? Now, uh, at yeah. nine, nine p.m. Nine p.m. Mm. All right. So, so you guys are about seven hours ahead of us. I think. Pardon? Yeah. I said uh, so. In in Japan, it's about seven hours ahead of us because we're um, it's it's two o'clock here at the moment. Yeah. How? What time is it? You are. Uh, 2 p.m. 
2 p.m. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay, yeah. maybe the same as European countries. Yeah, we are, I think we are on, on the GMT line. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Mm. No, and, and South Africa, <laughs> we don't really <laughs> keep track of time zones and all of that because um, our country is, is quite narrow. Uh, well, fairly mm. narrow, so everything falls into one time zone. So, you know, and, and we don't travel much, uh, well, apart from traveling north, you know, so it's, uh, timelines don't really affect us that much. Uh, before I learned uh, about the history, uh, some place of uh, South Africa, the mm. first human kind of were born in the place. And then... Yeah, it's a place called the, the Cradle of Humankind. Yes, yes. Yeah. Then they moved to the south and the south. They spread around the European countries or Middle East countries. Yeah, that's what they say. I don't know. <laughs> 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 you know, it's. Uh, I think there's a lot of speculation, but um, I can tell you that Africa is a very interesting place, and it's, it's got some very diverse people and cultures. Mm. So it's, if, if you ever want to travel to South Africa, I think it would be a worthwhile trip. How about security? Security, yeah. And then South Africa, I think it's important to, to be aware of your surroundings. Um, you, you have to be cautious. You, you're going to have to be cautious. Um, for us, it's not in that much of an issue because growing up here, you grow up with a mindset of being security aware. Mm. But, you know, for instance, you can't leave your house unlocked. Um, uh, even when you're in the house, it's always a good idea to have the doors locked. Um, or at least to have a security gate that's that's locked. Mm -hmm. um, and if, you, if you're driving also, you know, but it's, much of it is precautionary. Um, if, if I'm driving, I always keep my car doors locked and I don't open the windows full. Um, and well, it depends on where you drive. In, mm. in my neighborhood, I drive with the windows open, I go for walks. Um, so it's, you know, it's different. It depends on mm. where you are. Mm. I Suddenly I remembered, uh, I saw the London Olympic Games last year, the yeah. Blade Runner, right? Brenda Runner came Blade from Runner. South Africa, and uh, he killed mm. her, his uh, girlfriend. Oh yeah. Um, what was his name? Um, Oscar. Uh, Oscar. No, I can't remember his surname. Um, but I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm quickly going to see if I can find a picture of him. Um. Yeah, they, he's, he's been he's been accused of of murdering her, um, mm. but I mean it still has to go to trial. Uh, oh, really? I'm really so yeah, it still needs to go to trial. Um, mm. Okay, I've got I've got a picture. Um, so you know he's uh, yeah he hasn't been proven guilty yet. Yes, yes. He said uh, he shot her, her his girlfriend because he had a mistake. Yeah, there's a, other, a picture of the two of them. Other neighbors um, said uh, they yes. had some argument from that house. Yeah, you know, it's uh, I think it's quite a uh, contentious subject, quite a difficult subject for people, um, be, because yes, um, it's it's understandable that he was acting in um, in fear of his life. That that's what he says, but they. They're looking at the evidence and they're saying that it looks like it was murder. It looks, doesn't look like he was shooting at a at a potential burglar. Mm. So it's yeah. yeah, it's 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 kind of tragic. It's it's very tragic. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was very surprised because um, I saw him in the Olympic, and I enjoyed oh, his running. Mm. And and he's got a very flamboyant personality. So he's a um, to the well, and to the media at least, mostly quite a nice guy. Mm, yes, yes, I think so. 
So what happened? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder. <laughs> I think I think every everybody in South Africa wonders. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that have already decided. No, he's guilty. But then there are those who say that you don't know what happened. We'll we'll have to wait for the trial to see what happens. Because after the Olympic Games, maybe he was a hero in the South Africa, right? Yeah, he was quite a big hero. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yet, uh, you know, especially young people um, and people with disabilities were really looking up to this guy. So yeah. it's it it was a bit of a, a well, not a bit. It was a very sad day when uh, when when he shot uh, Riva, mm. his girlfriend. Yeah, even me, I was very sad. Yeah. <laughs> and it it was on on Valentine's Day. That's the worst part of it. Hmm. Mm. By the way, is it, uh, if I can change the subject a little bit, Valentine's Day, is that something that you guys celebrate where you come from? Celebrate? What? Uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, no. Independent. Not. Oh, Independent Day. No, no, no. Val Valentine's Day. Valentine's Yeah, I've, I've put it there in the... Uh, in a, in the text box, um, Valentine's Day. Is that a maker? Benetton, you mean? No. Is it, sorry, say that again, Cardi. No, Italian Ben, uh, Italian Doris maker Benetton. No, another thing. All right, so so it, this isn't something that you guys celebrate. Hmm. It's, it's it's very commercialized thing, you know. I'm always curious to know. Um, let me quickly see if I can can find something on Valentine's Day. It, it's they say when you celebrate romance and love. Um, mm. February fourteenth. Mm. And then usually people send each other cards like this and flowers and chocolates. <laughs> Very romantic. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so, you you guys don't celebrate that. Hmm. I have a Valentine. Yeah. Valentine is well. February. In February, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you guys also do the the Valentine's thing. Yes, yes. Okay. There are many chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many chocolates. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's that's probably the thing I love most about Valentine's Day because I'm a I'm a chocoholic. Oh, yes, I love yes. chocolate. Uh, yeah, very very nice. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Kaidi, we're uh, we were well. I was planning on uh, on on doing a a game today about uh, about synonyms. Yeah. I've got this. Found this very nice game. They say it's for ten to thirteen year olds, but I played it online and I loved it. So I thought, you know, we could we could play that. Um, quite a nice game. But if it's only going to be the two of us, then maybe that won't work so well. Um, so what I was actually thinking, I had a. Uh, no, let me close that one. I've got an article that. Uh, that I'd like to to discuss maybe. Let me quickly see if I can find it. Um, ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Did you know that there are words in the mm -hmm. English language that are their own opposites? Opposite. Their own yes, antonyms. Yes. All right. So it's not new new <laughs> it's not news for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I have to to say when I found this article, I thought it was uh, very very interesting. Um, mm. So I'd like to for us to just read through it and and you know just chat about some of the uh, some of the words here. And seeing as it's only the two of us, will you mind if I ask you to read? Will you feel comfortable reading? Yes, it's it okay. All right, let me just quickly zoom in there. Yes, yes, it's right. very small. 
is it? Still very small. Can I? Uh, not sure if I can make it any bigger. Can I maybe give you the link? Uh, let's see if I can make yeah, it a little bit bigger. Better. Is that better? Mm. Okay, I just want to see if. All right, there we go. That's probably as big as I'm gonna get it. Okay. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah, Here the ambiguous sentence for you because of the agency agencies over site the uh, corporation's uh, behavior was uh, uh, sa sanctioned does that mean because the, the agency oversaw the company's uh, behavior okay and they imposed a, a penalty for some uh, trans transgression or does it mean because the agency uh, was uh, in, uh, inattentive, they overlooked the misbehavior and gave it their appro approval by default. It was uh, stumbled into the looking glass, uh, looking glass world of the uh, control, controlimus. Yes. Was that uh, 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 their own autonomous, uh, antonyms. Antonyms, very good. Sanction. We are French from Latin, sanction from sanctio. Yeah. Ratify. Sanctio ratify uh, can mean uh, give official permission or approval for an action on or, or conversely impose a penalty on mm. oversight well, is a noun form of from verbs and uh, contrary uh, meanings oversee and overlook oversee from old english of office office of look at the form above look at look at from above mm -hmm. i mean uh, Superb, supervised media blue Latin for the same thing. Super over uh, bit video to see overlook usually means the op opposite to fail to see or ob observe to pass over without uh, not noticing to this uh, um, this Disregard, ignore. Yeah, very good. Have you got any questions or comments so far? Mm. It means uh, I need to look for some opposite uh, meaning. Op uh, the word uh, which had opposite meaning. Yes, so so basically what they're doing here is they're explaining to us the um, how one word can have more than one meaning and yeah. you know like like the word sanction I think that is quite a, a well a very good for, uh, example uh, where sanction can mean to give permission or it can mean to penalize because permission wasn't given mm. um, and then and then oversight as well um, you know, and then they're, they're talking about the two different meanings there. Um, where oversee or overlook um, literally means to to supervise or to to look from above. In a yeah, so to look from above. Whereas overlook usually means the opposite, where you don't see something and you and you, you miss a detail. So, does that uh, make sense to you, Kaidi? Yes. Okay. All right. Great stuff. If you if you f find anything in the vocabulary or uh, um, anything that you have a question about, please feel free to stop and and ask or discuss it. You know, if there's anything you'd like to discuss, yes, please okay. feel free. All right. All right. So let's continue at number three there. Okay, 
Mm, yes. 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 Yeah. There we go. Okay. Mm. And this one. Left. Can mean either uh, remaining or uh, departed. If the gentleman have uh, withdrawn to the drawing room for after dinner uh, cigars, food left. The gentleman have left and the ladies are left. Dust along with the next two words is a noun turned into a verb meaning either to add or to remove the thing in the question. Only the context will tell you which is this. When you dust, are you applying dust or removing it? It depends on whether you are dusting the crops or the furniture. Seed can also go either way. If you seed the lawn, you add seed. If, if, but if you seed uh, a tomato, you remove them. Right, so, so the, yeah, seed. So there's there's seed. two options. If you seed yeah. something, you can. It means you are planting the seeds. Mm. So, or if um, if you t take a tomato and you remove the seeds, you take the seeds out. Then ah, yes, you, yes. you also or, call it seeding. For watermelon. Yeah, or a watermelon. When you take the yes. the seeds out, that you yeah, are seeding it. A lot of seed inside. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> a, very, a, a heck of a lot. But 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 watermelon's delicious, eh? <laughs> yeah. Especially in the you know in the middle of summer when it's I think like today when it's forty degrees Celsius, and and you can eat a juicy watermelon. Oh, yes, there's nothing yes. better. It makes my body temperature cool down. Oh yeah. And it's good for the taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet and juicy. Oh, yeah. That is delicious. Trim as a verb of pre pre um, predict the noun, but it can also mean either adding it or taking it away. Arising from an old English word meaning to make firm or strong, to settle, arrange. Trim came to mean uh, to prepare, make ready, uh, depending on who or what was being read, read, uh, read, 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 they did. Yes. It could mean either of two contradictory things, to deco decorate something with uh, ribbons, Races, or they like to give it a uh, finished appearance, or to cut off the outgrowth of in irregularity, irregularities of, and uh, a context doesn't always make it clear. If you are trimming uh, the free and uh, you using a t tinsel or a chain saw. All right. Yeah. So. I think there's an interesting one. So you can, um, when you're trimming a tree, you can either it either means you're cutting off branches, or mm. it means you are adding decorations. Oh, I didn't know that trimming with the decoration. I always say I'm going to the um, hair salon to trim a little. Yes, and that that's the same. Yeah, it means to to cut off a little, to trim a little bit. Yeah. When you're going to the salon. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Clip can be clipped into two homo homographs, words with different origins that end up spelled the same. Clip meaning to cling to or ad adhere and comes from an old English word that took the forms of clear. Creophian, Creophian, I don't know. It's, it's, well, those are quite difficult Cleophan. words, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cleave with a contra, uh, contrary meaning to split or save something, mm -hmm. as you might do with a cleaver, comes from different old English words 
Cleophon. The past uh, participle was taken uh, various forms, cloven, which survives in the phrase cloven full hoof, cleft, as in a uh, uh, cleft or para, parade or mm -hmm. cle cleaved. Yeah, very good. Now, if I can quickly stop you there, Cody. Um, does that cleave? Does that make sense to you? Have you got any questions on that? Cleave, separate. Yeah, to separate. Torn, torn out. Torn out. Wow. Yeah, usually, if what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a picture on the screen again. Um, oh, okay. I, I, absolutely, I absolutely love pictures. Oh. I believe a picture speaks a thousand. Um, so let's put the word cleaver on the screen. Mm. Uh, well not not cleaver. Let's uh, no, not the word. The uh, <laughs> image. There's there's some examples of cleavers, meat cleavers. So when you cleave something, you cut it in two. Yeah. All right. Now, if I can take us back to the um, to to our article. Mm. They also speak here of, um, they say the past participle has taken various forms. Cloven, which survives in the phrase cloven hoof, or cleft, as in cleft palate. Do you know what a cleft palate is? Cleft, oh, cut off. Knife. No. Now, cliff pellet is. Yeah, here's a, a picture of it. What happens often in babies, where the the pellet, or the upper part of the the mouth there, mm, the, doesn't I... fully doesn't fully develop, and it's it's an opening. So it's it's looks like it's cut in half. Ah, yes, they call yes, that I a cliff pellet. Hmm. Mm. All right. So it's it's quite interesting how the same word can be used to describe all these different things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And and you also know what a cloven hoof is. Royal. Royal. Uh, no, a cloven hoof is uh Here's an example of a cloven hoof. We have an animal's foot ah, or, or, yeah, or yeah. a hoof that is mm. split in half. Yes, yes. Like a pig. Pig or but, Yeah, exactly, like a pig. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Very good. I didn't you know I'm um not really good with uh, with um, farm animals and all of that so I couldn't think of an example of an animal but yeah I, th I remember now that you said it a uh, pig is a very good example <laughs> <laughs> all right all right no great stuff um, all right, there, there's one actually I think we we missed we missed number six mm. stone if we can have a quick look at that they uh, they say here it's it's also a verb that you have to use with caution, because you can stone some peaches, but please don't stone your neighbor, even if he says he likes to get stoned. All right, so there's actually three meanings oh, to the word really? stone. Yeah. So the the first one, when you stone a peach, let me uh, get the picture there. I mean, I, I'm sure you know what that means. When you stone a peach. Um, you take out the pip. All right, you see that pip on the screen? Mm. The picture that I've got there, or pictures actually. So when you when you take a peach, and ah yes, a peach, and and you take that pip out, then mm. you say you are stoning the peach. All right, but if you say you are stoning a person, 
then it has a completely different meaning and these pictures don't show it. Um, <laughs> all right, but when you're stoning a person, um, in, you know, in, in, old, and in the olden times, they would, if, if someone did something wrong, um, this they penalty. would... Sorry, say again? This penalty, kind of. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not... stoned a, a person. Yeah, they would kill that person. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. All right. It's, so that's that's the yeah, before Ed period, samurai warriors dominated in Japan. Uh, yeah. Before the last samurai, that time, uh, yeah. there was a death penalty. The uh, oh, right. criminal yes, was uh, tied uh, tied up in the riverside. The people throw through the stone to that person. It's kind of Absolutely. death penalty. Yes, the, death penalty. The criminal will, will die slowly, very slowly. Yes, and, and very painfully. Yeah. <laughs> that's cruel. Eh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, so that's that's the other meaning of stone is is a, a form of a death penalty. And then mm. the third one. Can can you think of an example of the third one? Third one. Uh, yeah, the third meaning of, of stoned. Um, yeah, we are. <laughs> All right. There's some, some pictures that I've put there on the screen. They say mm -hmm. when, you know, when, when someone has been smoking marijuana or using drugs, yeah. we say that they are stoned. Mm. All right, so that's the third meaning. As someone who is drugged, we say yeah. he is stoned. Mm. All right. Great stuff. Let's... Uh, Let's get back to our article. All right, so we will we uh, resign. Resign right, so quit, quit uh, job. Uh, sorry, say that again, Cody. Quit job. Yeah. Resign. Step down. Huh? Quit job. That, job. That's correct. Yeah. All right, so resign means to quit your job, um, but it can also mean, let's say, for instance, you had a contract, and you canceled mm -hmm. the contract, but then you mm -hmm. want to take out the contract again, but then we pronounce it differently. We say re-sign. Yeah. So re-sign means to start again, and oh. resign means mm -hmm. to quit. Mm. All right, so does that difference make sense? Yeah. All right. Cool stuff. Great. Let's uh -huh. uh, let's look at the next one fast. Yeah, I I learned about that in the Kolingo. There are many Saudi Arabia or some um, Muslim people. Then yeah. they said Ramadan is fast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So fast can be um, when when you, for for religious reasons, decide yeah. not to eat. Mm. All right. So that's one meaning. Um, but the interesting thing is, in this article, they don't they don't explain that. Uh, I think they left that one out. So there's what they say here is fast can mean moving rapidly. Or yes, running, yes. running fast. Yeah. All right. So if you move rapidly, that is, you are fast. But also, if you hold on to something very tightly, especially with regards to something that you believe, let us say you believe something, and someone's trying to convince you that it's not true, but mm. you believe that, then it means you are holding fast onto your belief. Mm, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. You know, it's. I, I think all of us, all of us, even us, uh, the guys that teach, we all learn something about about the language every time. Mm. You know, since I started teaching, I've I've learned something every single day. Uh, it's very cool. 
like I, I learned from you about tempura, and uh, I actually made it the <laughs> other night, and it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so uh, yeah, my wife still said that was uh, that was a very good idea. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so let's look at uh, number eleven. Yeah. Off. Off. So. Off mm. the leave, leave from time price. What? It can be leave. Yes. So, oh, time off means you're taking leave, or like they say here, it can mean deactivated, or turned off. Um. Whereas it can also mean to activate. <laughs> All right, so they, they they give the example here that the alarm went off. So you can mm. say, I forgot to turn off the alarm. So when I opened the door, it went off. And there we've got one word meaning two opposites in the same sentence. Mm. Opposite, I see. Yeah. Mm. All right. Great stuff. Mm. So you happy with that one? Shall we uh, move on to the next one, Kaidi? Are you yeah. uh, you happy with that? Weather, weather is a kind of climate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then let me read the sentence for us. They say weather can mean to withstand or come safely through, yeah. as in the company weathered the recession, or it can mean to be worn away. So the rock was weathered. And, mm. and, and also, um, in both instances, it comes from the word weather, which means climate, which is a form of yeah, the climate. So, yeah, you you can say that guy has been through a lot in his life. He's weathered a lot of hard times. Mm -hmm. So it means he's been through it and he came out better. He's a better person for it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so you happy with that? The screen? Okay. All right, yeah, let's look at screen. Screen, screen is a movie. <laughs> yeah. So you can screen a movie or you can screen a mess. Um, so when you screen a movie, it means you are showing the movie. But. Yeah. A good example of screening a mess is behind me. <laughs> I've got this curtain up. <laughs> so behind the curtain, I've put a lot of boxes and, and equipment that I, that I put there, and I screen it by putting the, the, the curtain in front of it so that people don't see the mess. Does that make okay. sense? <laughs> it's a... Pretty bad confession. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so yeah, let's uh, let's look at that uh, that last one. Help means assist. Yeah. Um, but it but it can also mean prevent. Prevent. Oh, really? So, in other words, um, to to illustrate that, I'm going to say, um, how can how can I put this? Assist or. Um, Hmm? Yeah, yeah, you can say assist. Um, let's say, uh, Kaidi helped me, or yeah, helped me with a tempura. <laughs> All right, so then that, that means to assist. Or I can say, um, I could not help myself. Mm. I ah, yes, had yes. to eat it all. Kind of, st of stop, 
there we go. Yeah, that's the that's what I was looking for. When you can't stop yourself, you can't help yourself. Yeah, you can't stop yourself. Very good. All right. For right example, now, I see. I can't, I can't help crying. Y yeah, I can't help crying, or uh, like that old song. Uh, I can't help falling in love. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, very good. Now I see you've you've got a very firm grasp on this. All right, so then uh, I'll just read that last sentence. The contronym, also spelled contranum, goes by many names, including including autoantonym, mm. antagonym, enantiodrome, self antonym, antilogy, and genus word from the Roman god of beginnings and endings, often depicted with two faces looking in opposite directions. All right, then they just uh, give us some, you know, a link to a roundup of even more contronyms. But, yeah, so have you ever encountered, apart from these 14 examples, have you ever seen other, encountered other words that where where you had one word that had two different and op often opposite meanings. Other word. Mm. Mm. Other word. Yeah, I'm, I'm also I'm trying really hard to think of other examples. There's yeah. a um, a very good one maybe was is the word president. Um, Mm, let me just get my spelling right. President. So president can also mean the president of the country. Yeah. Or if I allowed, if if I punished someone for doing something, mm. but the next guy does the same thing and I allow him to do it, then I am creating a president. Mm. Um, in other words, then I'm I'm creating a uh, almost like a pitfall for myself. Mm. We, uh, or I'm, I'm creating a, a lack of, of order. All right, so, um, yeah. But anyway, so, Kaidi, uh, I think that wraps up our, our look at contronyms today. Yeah. Um, hopefully, hopefully next time if we, have, if we have a game lined up, we'll be more people so we can actually play the game. How can I play that game? That game that uh, that I was talking about. Um, let me quickly see if you want to if you want to go and play this game on your own. I'm going to give you the link. Um, it's it's a uh, they call it General Cho's. What is it? Uh, General Cho Cho's spicy synonyms. Mm -hmm. So, it's it's quite a fun game actually. Um, very, uh, I almost want to say silly, but it's it's quite fun. Where you get four word options, um, three of them mean the same thing, and the mm -hmm. fourth one is the odd one out. So you have to choose the one that doesn't mean the same. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But is there anything else from your side today? Synonym. There are two spicy synonyms. Mm. <laughs> and I, I actually, I, I lost that page, and when I went back and Googled it, I found a few delicious chicken recipes. General <laughs> Tso's chicken. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> If you uh, if you want to to find some good chicken recipes, you can also Google that name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like chicken. Ah, chicken oh, has yeah. two meaning, right? Quadri and uh, animal chicken. Mm hmm. Just say that again, Kari. I didn't quite follow you there. Chicken. Chicken has yeah. two meanings. One is a uh, yeah. chicken, but <laughs> and another is a uh, quadri. Yeah, yeah. So the, the the one is cowardly, and and the other one is a bird. Very, yeah. very well spotted. 
<laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, very well spotted. <laughs> Do you know what else, what other word they use to describe someone who's cowardly? Hmm. Um, I know that chicken rice. Chicken rice. Yeah. Do you know chicken rice? Chicken. Chicken. Did chicken you say rice. Chicken? Yeah. Chicken rice. Chicken. Um, two cars uh, came to uh, opposite side. Yeah. And before crashing. And then, then one, one of them pulls one out. Before, yeah, that was it. Um, Ruth. And and that's a, a chicken rice, yeah. yeah it's a chicken. <laughs> we we used to do that with bicycles when we were kids. Yeah, yeah, and, bicycle, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I had a few uh, very hard falls because of that. <laughs> 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 yeah, but did did you know that they also use the word yellow to describe yellow. someone who's a coward? Yeah. I don't know yellow only color. Yeah, so. If I want to say that guy is a coward, I will mm. say he's yellow. Mm. Yeah, but yellow that, or mm. or even lily livered. Mm. So, uh, English is such a gorgeous language. There's so many <laughs> ways that you can say the same thing. Mm. Uh, Italian says the green is uh, no money. Italian yeah. green, Italian says green is bird. Verde is a green color, and yeah. his verde means that he has no money. All right. So that means yeah. he's he's broke. Yeah. So I green. say, I'm, I'm no, I have no money means sono verde, sono verde, sono is I am. Sono verde. verde. Yeah, sono verde. Oh, I don't nice. have any money. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put that up there so I can remember it. Let me get Sono Verde. How about the oh. English? Do you have such a name, such a uh, meaning? I don't have any money. And, uh, we will say... That with the no. color. No, the, the, no the, the closest one, the, the only one that I know of is you'll say I'm broke. Mm. So, but I can't think of, of any... No, there's no color related to that. Mm. But uh, yeah, I've I've learned something. And in Sono Verde, that is Italian. Italian, yeah, Sono Verde. Right. Cool, great stuff. <laughs> 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 All right, well, Kari, I'm afraid we have run out of time. But you see, that's exactly what I said earlier. I've learned a little bit, and you've learned <laughs> a little bit today. So I don't come here to teach; I come here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so. But Kari, thank you so much for your time. It yeah, was great to speak much. to you again. Yeah. And uh, I'll chat to you soon. Yeah, see you next Bye. time. Bye-bye. Great Have stuff. a nice day. Bye-bye. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>